Hello friends, this video on force and pressure part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. In the following situations, identify the agent exerting the force and the object on which it acts. State the effect of the force in each case. So let us look at the first case. Squeezing a piece of lemon between the fingers to extract its juice. So let us try to find out all the three things. So in this case, who is squeezing the lemon? So the piece of lemon is being squeezed by the fingers. So that means the force is exerted by the fingers, right? So we can say that the agent exerting force. So let me mark this as the agent exerting force is marked as A. Object will be marked as O and effect will be marked as E. So we will find out A, O and E. So here, who is the agent who is exerting force? Agent is finger because fingers are exerting force on the lemon, which is the object. Object is of course the lemon because the force is being exerted on the lemon. And what is the effect of it? The effect is that there is a change in shape because the lemon gets squeezed. So there is a change in shape because the effect of applying force will either be a change in state of motion or a change in shape. But in this case, there is no motion, but there is change in shape. Next one, taking out paste from a toothpaste tube. So in this case, again, we have to find out these three. So which is the agent of agent which is exerting force again in this case also it is fingers because we how do you take out paste from a toothpaste tube by pressing it with your fingers so fingers are exerting force what is the object here object is the toothpaste tube because the force is being exerted on this tube and what is the effect again change in shape because the shape of the toothpaste tube changes Next one, in the following situations, the same thing, the question remains the same, we have to find out A, O and E. A load suspended from a spring while its other end is on a hook fixed to the wall. So here this is the load and this is the hook on the wall and it is attached from a spring. This is the load, this is the spring. So in this case, which is the agent exerting force, which is the object and what is the effect of force. So here the agent is going to be the load because the load is actually exerting a force on this hook. Correct? So the load is going to be the, because due to the presence of this load, it is exerting a force on the spring. And what is the object? The object here is the spring. And what is the effect? Effect is change in shape because as the load gets, as soon as you attach this load to the spring, the spring will change its shape. Maybe initially it was like this. As soon as the load is fixed, it will become like this. So the change, there is a change in shape of the spring. Next one, an athlete making a high jump to clear the bar at a certain height. So in this case, who is exerting force? Obviously, the force is being exerted by the athlete, but which part of his body is exerting force? Obviously, the muscles of the athlete is exerting the force. And what is the object on which the uh, force is being exerted? The object is the athlete because the muscles are exerting force on the athlete. And that is why the athlete is moving. Correct? And here, what is changing? The shape of the athlete is not changing, but there is a change in state of motion because now the uh, uh, athlete is jumping. So, the, the way he was moving, that is changing due to the application of this extra force. Question number six. A blacksmith hammers a hot piece of iron while making a tool. How does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron? Now, in this case, what happens is hammering applies a force on the hot iron, which changes it to a desired shape. Now, hot piece of iron, the, when the iron is very hot, 
that time it is flexible enough to take any shape which you want but once it becomes cold it becomes extremely hard and you cannot change its shape now as long as the iron is hot when you hammer it you are actually applying a force so when you apply force on an object which is flexible enough then this will result in a change of shape so you can change the shape to a desired shape so that you can make the tool you want question number 7 An inflated balloon was pressed against a wall after it has been rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth. It was found that the balloon sticks to the wall. What force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon and the wall? Now, before that, let me first ask you: What do you think will happen once the balloon is rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth? The balloon gets charged. So now you have a charged balloon and when it comes near the wall it gets stick to the wall so basically we are talking about force existing between charged objects so this is nothing but electrostatic force so whenever you deal with forces related to charges it can either be magnetic force or electrostatic force and i already told you magnetic force is all about magnets and magnetic materials but electrostatic forces are about forces by charged particles so here you have charged balloon so this is an example of electrostatic force question number 8 Name the forces acting on a plastic bucket containing water held above ground level in your hand. So just look at this lady who is carrying this bucket of water. So this is held in hand and it is quite above the surface of the earth. Discuss why the forces acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion. So if you look at it, the bucket is not changing its state of motion. It is not the bucket is not moving. The bucket is stationary. But there are a lot of forces acting on the bucket. So how is that possible? So let us look at the bucket more closely. So this is the bucket. Now since it is being hold by the by a person so therefore there is a muscular force which is acting in the upward direction this force is exerted by the muscles of the person holding the bucket at the same time there is another force which is acting on the bucket and that is the force of gravity and this force acts in the downward direction so we have forces acting in opposite direction which compensate each other and therefore the net force comes out to be zero now what, ju just imagine what would happen if this person who is holding the bucket just leaves it so then in that case there will be no muscular force any further therefore the bucket will fall down towards the ground because of the force of gravity question number 9 A rocket has been fired upwards to launch a satellite in its orbit. Name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad. Now as the rocket moves upward, one force will always be gravitational force that is the force acting towards the center of the earth. and the next would be the atmospheric pressure because immediately as it leaves the launching pad it has to cross the various layers of atmosphere so the atmosphere is also going to exert a lot of pressure on it so these are the two forces which will be acting on the rocket question number 10 when we press the bulb of a dropper with its nozzle kept in water air in the dropper is seen to escape in the form of bubbles Once we release the pressure on the bulb water gets filled in the dropper the rise of water in the dropper is due to so what is causing the water to rise in the dropper the concept here is similar to what we saw in case of drinking straw so when we try to drink through a straw we suck in so the pressure inside the straw decreases pressure outside is more so pressure outside forces the water in the glass to rise up through the straw so the same thing happens in case of this dropper also so this happens due to pressure of water gravity of the earth shape of rubber bulb or atmospheric pressure yes exactly it happens due to atmospheric pressure because since atmospheric pressure is quite high as compared to the pressure inside the dropper therefore the atmospheric pressure will force the liquid to rise through the dropper so in this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that this lesson on force and pressure would have helped you to understand the concept so see you all in the next lesson thank you 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.